make some salmon and peach tacos thanks to our partners at the Atlanta Community Food Bank with our mobile pantry ingredients. So today in your pantry, you got some salmon. We are so excited to have some fresh salmon today to make these amazing, delicious tacos. Are you guys ready to get started? Awesome. So I'm gonna get started with our marinade. So we're gonna make it quick and easy. You can use orange juice or apple juice, or maybe some molasses, or if you have another type of sweetener, agave, honey, whatever you have, if you wanna make it so we can have a nice caramelized flavor on our salmon. So let's get started. We're gonna make a quick marinade. Soy sauce. And that's gonna be our salt today, okay? But this is gonna create some caramelization when we do our pan searing. So we're gonna pan sear these. If you wanted to, you could grill your salmon. I'm gonna scrape out a little bit of molasses out I have. We have our marinade, so if you want to, you can add a little sriracha or some cayenne pepper or some crushed red pepper flakes to give some heat to your marinade. So I'm gonna add some onion powder, um, granulated garlic, some black pepper. All right, so we have our marinade right here. We're gonna let this sit for just a second while I mince up some garlic for our marinade, for our salmon. I already peeled my garlic, so I'm just gonna smash it clove a little bit to help me. So now we just go and mince it all up. Put that into our marinade right there. So now let's take our salmon and we're gonna get ready to use our salmon. So we look at the label first for our salmon. So this came from Norway. So that means the water is really, really cold, which is great for salmon. So, and it was processed in the United States. So every seafood you buy, you should be able to find out where it came from and where it was processed at. We wanna make sure our seafood is coming from sustainably sourced places. So that's also good, or you wanna look for wild caught. So the next thing we're gonna do is make our peach relish. So we're gonna use peaches, cabbage, red onion or white onion, cilantro, and lime juice. So I'm gonna dice up our peaches. So you're gonna need about, depending on your family size, three to four, five to six peaches. We like a lot of peaches here. So we're gonna kinda of go and see what our peaches look like for us. We're gonna dice them instead of slicing them. So we're gonna put them in our bowl in nice bite-sized pieces. So now we're gonna work on our cabbage. I'm just stacking it up and I'm gonna dice it. So my cabbage was a little damaged, so I'm gonna slice it and dice it. So now we're gonna dice our onion, our red onion. So here we go, I'm gonna slice it in half. I don't need this giant onion. If you only have white onion, use white onion. It's up to your taste buds. A trick, I'm cutting off my root because I'm about to only use a little bit of this onion. The rest of it I will save for another use. So this onion right here has a really sharp bite sometimes, so if you want to lighten up the bite of the onion, we're gonna soak it in some ice water. So all we're gonna do after we finish uh, letting our onion sit, we are going to squeeze some lime juice into our relish, we're gonna strain our onions, and then we're gonna chop up some cilantro to toss in. And then we're ready to get cooking. We're gonna let our pan heat up. We're gonna put a little olive oil and sesame oil in our pan to get a nice here for our salmon. We're gonna take our salmon that we have been marinating here. We're gonna dry off our skin just a little bit so we can get some nice crispy skin. And we're gonna put skin side down. We want our salmon to be like a medium, medium well. Your salmon does not have to be well done to eat it. While that's cooking, we ready for more fun. Cook off our marinade by straining it into the pan to boil off any of the raw properties that can make us sick. With our tongue. Don't worry about how the skin looks, because guess what? We're gonna take it right off. Look at that, beautiful. Woo! You see our sauce has reduced down to a nice syrupy consistency like a barbecue sauce type of consistency. That's what you're looking for. So now, we're gonna take our salmon, just flake it off the skin. If you want to leave the skin on, you're welcome to leave the skin on. All right. Flake it off, big pieces. Don't work too hard at it. You wanna feel those chunks and texture. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, I have mine. Size tortillas. 
The reason why I like these is perfect portion size. So if two's enough, it's not too big, not too small. So we're gonna take a little bit of our sauce here. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit. Just enough, not too much. You don't want it to saturate. And then we're gonna take some of the salmon pieces. Nice big chunks of salmon. And now we are going to put our relish on top. So again, just toss a little bit. Less is more. Just let it fall where it may. And here we are, is our final dish, our salmon and peach tacos. So, I want you to go make these tacos. You have the ingredients, make a variation. Use what you have in your pantry. Have fun, it's tacos. So catch us next time at the Choices Mobile Pantry, second and fourth Friday at Oak Hill. Make sure you register, we'll see you